So I've got a really good question here from Ian Clark, and that's when fishing natural venues like rivers, how can you sort of avoid the bleak and get more bites from roach and skimmers? And this is a fantastic question. It's a problem I've been faced with over the years quite a few times on a multitude of rivers. Um, first things first, when you're match fishing, never ignore any fish, even bleak. You know, with the right tackle and the right approach, you can catch a good weight of bleak. A nice whip fishing shallow. So that would be my first tip. Be, you know, ignore them at your peril. If weight's up or just short of 10 pounds is very good, try not to ignore them. Try to catch them and then any other fish mixed in is a bonus. If you des desperately want to ignore them and bigger weights are needed, when talking about roach, the number one way to avoid the bleak is to use hemp. Fish hemp and even tears on the hook. Loose feed them. It, it, you know, it has minimal sort of activity, it will go to the bottom and it will just attract roach. As far as the skimmers are concerned, try to use a soily mix, something with not too much activity, almost like 80% soil, fish with baits like worms, maybe even a little bit of sweet corn, um, but worms and holding your float still, a bigger hook, three or four bits of a red worm or two pieces of a dendrobina and that should see you catching some better fish but like i say if it's roach definitely go down the hemp route fish it just off bottom again you don't need to mess around a size 16 hook b511 is my favorite hook for this size 16 010 four to ten inches off bottom and just look for those lightning fast bites the only other tip i can give you as far as the hemp roots concerned is just give it time. It's not an instant method. You need to feed it and build it up and then quite often you'll have a good last couple of hours. But that's how I'd go around ignore, or trying to, to get through the bleak.